patrolling for terrorists in one of the most dangerous places in the Middle East. These are some of the world's toughest soldiers, training under the harsh desert conditions near the Israeli-Egyptian border, not far from the Gaza Strip. And they're proving that toughness is not just a guy thing. Here, in the world's first and only co-ed infantry battalion, the women don't just fight beside the men, they lead. In fact, in this unit, women outnumber men 60 to 40. The boys and the girls uh, go through the same things here. No different. No different. I think women just have a huge impact and a lot to give. Private Risa Kelmer wanted to be part of it so much, she came here all the way from Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore, we call it. How does a girl from Baltimore, Maryland, end up in the middle of the desert in Israel uh, fighting? I think it's really cold at night. I asked myself that too. <laughs> While on vacation with her family in the Holy Land, Risa decided to stay. She put off college, enlisted in the Israeli Defense Forces, and made it into the battalion named Karakal. I chose Karakal specifically because it is the only co-ed combat unit and I feel like girls can do just as well as boys. In the IDF, every unit has a name. This one is named after a Karakal wildcat, a species in which the male and female look exactly the same. So you're confident that if a terrorist comes at you, you'd be able to shoot him? I would do what I had to you do. You wouldn't miss? No, I wouldn't miss. No. During a morning drill, Private Kalmer commands a unit of four, yelling orders in Hebrew, a language she's still learning. So I remember I, I think I cried for the first half hour. I went to my commander and I said, what are you thinking that you're going to give me the one, the one job in the entire me in which I have to speak in Hebrew and I have to give orders. I was very, very stressed out, but at this point I realized that I can do this and that I enjoy the responsibility. But that responsibility can take its toll. I, I just want to show people at home, this, <laughs> these are what your hands look like. They didn't before this week. <laughs> it's winter. Uh, it is, do you look at your hands and go, wow, this is, this is, it's been rough. I mean, I did this. You week, need a manicure. I was like, yeah, I actually thought about that yesterday. I'm like, I'm going to go home in the summer and I'm going to go get me a manicure. Women are such a key part of the IDF, the force has opened more than 90% of its jobs to them. Women make up a third of Israeli soldiers. Compare that to the U.S., where women only account for 14% of the armed forces. And they're still barred from many combat roles. This co-ed battalion was often the butt of jokes, until last September on the Israeli-Egyptian border, an incident that had everyone on edge. Three infiltrating terrorists were shot dead in a hail of bullets. When the smoke cleared, it was one of the women who fired the lethal shots. It was the test and we passed it. Our battalion could do what every battalion could do. Girls take things more seriously and more um, use their emotion, I think it gives, they care more about things, they, they want things to be perfect. A sense of purpose and courage embodied in Private Kalmer. Sometimes there's amazing things, like you'll just be sitting there and you're doing guard duty and you've been sitting there for eight hours, let's say I did that last week, I sat there for nine hours. And then you have the sunrise and you're like, wow, this country is beautiful and this, I'm protecting something that's worthwhile. If this country needs it, I will give my life and I will give everything I have, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to, you know, go home and hug my family at the end of the day and that they'll know that I'm safe and doing what I have to. Putting her life on the line for a country that's now her second home. On the Israeli-Egyptian border, Itai Had for The Daily.